All right, here we go. Ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. How to write the 26 manuscript letters. And these are the lowercase, the small letters, not the uh, uppercase letters. These are the, the lowercase letters of the alphabet. They're called uh, manuscript letters in this, in this presentation. The 26 manuscript letters and learn their sounds. Okay, there they, here's a whole bunch of things here. We've got numbers, okay, and we've got a couple of other math signs, and there's a sentence in the middle. Let's start with the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's not a 10. That is a 0, okay, and this thing is called a plus sign, like 1 plus 1, and this is called an equal sign. 1 plus 1 equals 2, right? Have I got that right? Now, the next sentence that I'm going to read you here has all of the 26 letters of the alphabet. They're in there. And so if you could look at all those designs and follow them, you, you know, you, but we're going to do one at a time. And of course, there's a capital T instead of a lowercase t. Let's read the sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog, okay? And at the end of a sentence, there's always a period or a question mark, sometimes a question mark. Sometimes in sentences, you will see commas. And this right here, it's a comma with a period over top of it. That's called a semicolon. And I'm not going to go into that right now. That's another something you're going to learn after you learn how to read. This is a minus sign. One minus or take away. One. One take away. One equals zero. And this is called a times sign or a multiplication sign. One times one equals one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now this is a picture that goes with this sentence. Let me read it to you again. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Yep, that's what's going on there. All right. Now, handwriting uh, the clock letters using what they call this lady named Romalda Spalding who put all this together, kind of. Well, lots of other people have contributed, too. Um but you, if you think of a, a clock, you know, like right there, right there, if that's a clock face, that would be the, the, the number two, all right? Now take a look at this one. These are all the numbers on a clock, okay? So two is used a lot for handwriting. Four, you'll see us use four. Eight o'clock, quite often you'll find that. Ten o'clock sometimes. And, and a few of the other uh, numbers are, are also used. So, anyway, let's start off with the letter A. There it is, right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. That's how we're going to write it today. We're going to practice a manuscript um, letter A. This, this is a different kind of what they call a font. And you're going to see the letter A uh, written or in books like that sometimes. Just the way it is down here below. Let's do the sounds. A as in have, a, as in a, and ah, as in ball, have a ball. There's a guy at the beach, boy, he's got a ball. Have a ball, have a good time. You could think of it that way too. The letter a, okay, the sounds, a, a, ah, okay? And let's figure out how to write. You start at two o'clock, okay? And then you go up and touch the belt. You come back down around, touch the bottom line. And this is a short letter now. It's a lowercase letter. There it is. That's what you've just done. And then you're going to go up to the belt and you're going to come down like that. And that's the, the letter A. A, A, A. Those are the sounds that it can make. Let's try it again. Starts at 2 o'clock and then it goes up and around and over. And then you go start up at the top of the belt or right on the belt and you go down okay make sense all right let's do the next one the letter b b b as in b b b bumble 
Bee, bumblebee. It looks like a bumblebee. It looks more like a horsefly to me. Bumblebee. <laughs> anyway, there it is. B. Okay, where do you think it starts? It's a tall letter, so it starts up at the top. And you go down. And then you come up. And what I tell my students, you know, you're driving a car. And you know how you get off an exit? You turn off and you get off an exit to get on, you know, off of the highway. Well, you get off, you touch the uh, the top of the belt, you come around, you touch the bottom of the belt, and then you go back up to where the line was. Okay, so you come around and then, boom, you touch the line like that. Let's try another one. Starts at the top line, goes all the way down, you come driving back up, you get off the off at the exit and you touch the belt you come down and touch the bottom line like that and you end up pretty much touching the line at the bottom you see that little space in between there you want to make sure there's a little space where the circle and the line are at the bottom okay let's try the next one. Oh, the letter c k, k as in k, k, cat s as in s, s, city cat in the city. Wow. K, s. Those are the two sounds for the letter C. And let's see if what it looks like. Okay, it starts at what, 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 where? Where does it start? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. There it is. And it comes around and it stops at about four o'clock. Okay, let's try that again. Starts at two o'clock. Okay, you go up, up around, touch, down, bottom, and then you bring it up. You bring it up to about four o'clock. Okay, let's go with the letter D, okay, this is a D, 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 Daddy's D, D Dragon. <coughs> That's Daddy's Dragon right there, okay. Here we go, circle comes first. So what do you think? Let's see, circle comes first. So where are we going to start? Two o'clock, two o'clock. And you go up, touch the belt, down, touch the bottom. And then you go all the way up to the top. Boom, there it is like that. And then you go all the way up to the top. And then you boom, come back down. Okay, let's try it again. Start at two o'clock, go up, touch the belt, wrap around down to the bottom. There it is right there. Now go all the way back up to the top and then bring it back down. Boom, like that. D, D for the letter D. Okay, let's go with E, eh, the letter E. E, eh, E eh, as in eh, eh, help. E, eh, E, E, like me. Help me. The sharks are going to get me. Ah! Okay. E. E. There it is. All right. It's a short letter. Okay. Now look, 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 look at this. It starts at nine o'clock on the clock. And then you go the direction, the way we read and write, and you stop at three o'clock. Okay. And then you go up around. Don't stop at the bottom. You stop at what, what, what? Four o'clock. Okay. Make sense? Let's try it again. Okay, where does it start? Starts at nine o'clock. Okay, and you go the way we read and write, and it stops at three o'clock. And then you go up, touch the belt, curve around, touch the bottom line, and then bring it, bring it, bring it back up to what? Up to four o'clock. Okay, e e. That's what that is. Next one. What comes after? Oh. The F, the F, okay? It's, it's kind of curved up at the top, too. Notice that. F, as in funny face. Funny face, all right. The sound is f, 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 f. Okay, look where it starts. It's, 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 it's a curve, it's like, it's like a clock. It starts at two o'clock. It's up high, though. It's up by the top. Two o'clock, you go up and touch the top line, and then you come down crash down on the bottom line you pick up your pencil you go over to the belt line and you go the way we read and write kind of like a little cross okay let's try it again where does it start two o'clock you go up touch the top line the headline and then you come down crash on the bottom line pick your pencil up and make a tiny cross in the direction that we read and write all right Oh, this, this is a tricky one now. G, the letter G. G, G, what does that stand for? G, G, goat. And see, it's kind of a crazy way that they make the the, uh, the letter G there, too. That's kind of like the way, that crazy way they make the letter, 
the letter uh, A that we looked at before. But keep keep in mind how we're going to do it. G goat and and what? G g giraffe. There's a picture of a goat right up there. And a giraffe. Yep. The two sounds. G j g j. Okay. Here we, it's a circle letter. Where does it start? Two o'clock. You go up, touch the belt, circle around, touch the bottom line, go all the way up to the top, all the way up to the top, and then you come down, and then you curve backwards, and look where you stop at. You stop at 8 o'clock. Okay, let's try it again. Where does it start? It starts at 2 o'clock. Okay, you go up, touch the belt, come down, touch the bottom line, and then and you go all the way back up to the bottom, I mean the middle line, up to the, the part of the middle line right there, and then you come back down, you go backwards, and you circle, you do a bottom, and you come over, and you stop at 8 o'clock. Don't stop at the bottom, stop at 8 o'clock, and you're under, you're under the bottom line. All right, let's do the next one. The letter H. This is pretty easy. This is a okay. Hug. Oh, those two people must like each other. Okay. The letter H. Where do you think it starts? It starts at the top. It's a tall letter. You come down. You start going back up, but you get off the exit. Okay. Get off the exit. Touch the belt, and then come on back down to the bottom line. Okay, let's try it again. Starts at the top. You slant. You go straight down. Crash. You go back up and you get off the exit. Touch the belt and curve around and go right on down to the bottom line. Okay, let's go with ah the letter I. Three sounds. I, as in it's it's uh oh it's I I I I. A, it's a G I giant. What is it? It's a giant. Oh my gosh, it is a giant. It's a giant E radio. It's a giant radio. Looks almost like a school or a building, but it's a giant radio. Okay. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Starts on the belt. By the way, it's a short letter. You go down. You touch the bottom. Okay. But don't forget get to come back up and put a little dot, a little dot above it for I, I, E. Okay, let's try it again. Where does it start? On the belt. You go down, crash, but don't forget to put a little dot up above. I, I, E. Three possible sounds. How about this one? The letter J, 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 jumping J, Ack, jumping Jack, jumping Jack. <laughs> All right, J, and this is a letter like J, J that goes under, under the bottom line. Where does it start? Starts on the belt, and you go down. Okay, and then you curve backwards. You're under the line, under the water, under the bottom line, and you go up to about. Eight o'clock. Okay, let's try it again. It starts. Oh, 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 look, I almost, I forgot the dot. Do you believe it? You have to remember the dot on I, I and you have to remember the dot on J. Okay, here we go. Let's just see if I can remember it this time. You start on the belt. You go down. You go below the belt. You go backwards and you come up and you reach eight o'clock. But don't forget to put the dot up above the belt. J, okay, very good, very good, okay. K, the letter K. K, K, what, what is that? K, K, King, King, whoa. Tall letter, okay, starts at the top, up there. You go, bonk. Now you pick your pencil up and you go out a little bit on the belt out there and then you slant down about halfway down into the line. And then you go the other direction, slant down to the foot line. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, starts at the top. 
you go bonk right there. Now, where do we go? Where do we go? You go out a little ways on the belt, and then you slant back in. Bonk. And then what? Then you go the direction, kind of like slanting down the way we read and write, and you go that side. And that's the letter K. Okay, let's go with, ooh, oh, the letter L. It says, oh, oh, lolly, lollipop, lollipop, oh, lolly, lollipop, boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay, let's, this is an easy one. I, I remember this one real first, or easy in the game when I first started. Starts on the top letter, and you go, bam, boom. And that's all. That's all there is to it. Oh, lowercase. Let's try it again. Start on the top. Bonk. Oh, okay. Let's go to. Mmm. 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 Mammoth. What's a mammoth? Why, it's a woolly mammoth from the prehistoric times. He's got all that hair on him. He's he's a he's a he's a, a, a dinosaur elef, elephant, uh, the woolly mammoth. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Where do you think we start? How many of you said the belt? Belt. And we go down. You go back up. Now what what happens? You get off the exit. You go over and you touch the belt, and then you come back down again, and then you go up one more time and you get off the exit and you slide around touch the top of the belt and then you go down <laughs> to the bottom mmm mammoth woolly mammoth where does it start it starts on the belt you go down crash go back up and you get off the exit get off the exit touch the belt slide on down again in the middle go to the bottom line come back up again get off the exit Touch the the belt and come on back down one more time. Mmm. Mm. The next one is the letter N. Mmm. Scrunch that nose. Mmm. Mmm. Oon. Noon. It's high noon. Twelve o'clock. Noon. Okay. All right. Mmm. The letter N. Where do you think it starts? On the belt, you slant down, or you go straight down, crash. You come back up, you're driving your car, but you got to get off the exit. Get off the exit, touch the belt, and then slide on back down to the bottom line. Let's try it again. Mmm. Starts on the belt, crash, right like that. Get in your car, drive on up, but don't forget to get off the exit. Go over, touch the top of the belt. I mean, the, the belt right there, and then you go slanty back down and boom down on the bottom what sound is this mmm mmm okay this one right here the letter O look at all those sounds ah ah as in ox that's a picture of an ox 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 oh 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 ox over and there's a question mark so the, so the farmer's saying, ox, over? You want to go over? And you know what the fox says? Uh, oh, uh, 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 love, t, ooh, ooh. Ox, over? Uh, love, to. Ooh is the last one. So you got, ah, uh, oh, uh, love, ooh. Ah, uh, oh, uh. Ooh, let's try writing it. Not a really tough one. Any idea where it starts? Two o'clock. And you go up, around, touch the bottom, come back up to where you started, okay? Where does it start? Two o'clock or thereabouts. You go up, touch the bottom line, circle around, touch the bottom line, and go back to where you started. All right, let's keep going. P, the letter P. Up, pup, 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 ease, puppies. Those are puppies up above. Puppies. Okay, where do you think this one starts? 
starts, what do you think? On the belt. And you go, nah, right down to the bottom. You get in your car, you drive back up, and you get off the exit. You touch the belt. You curve around. You come back. You touch the bottom line. And you go up. And see the little space in between there? You got that. And you got that little space. And you go up to there. And that's called puppies. Okay, let's try it again. Where does it start? Starts on the belt. You go all the way down. You come back up. You get off the exit. And round and down. And then go right into the to the uh, the lion you know uh and make sure there's that little little space down there at the bottom okay here we go Ooh, the letter q the letter q always write q with you okay the sound those two letters make is qua 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 queen queen for a day yes Qua, qua. Now there's different ways that this is made too. You'll you'll have to pick up on those. The one that we're looking at down there, you see, has that little that goes, a little thing that goes up like in the way we read and write. Let's take a look at it. Where do you think the? We start with the Q, okay? But there's two letters. Always going to be two. There's going to be a Q and a U, and it says qua. You start. It's a circle letter. Starts at two o'clock. You go up and around, and you keep going. You keep going up to the belt, and then you come down, and then you go <coughs> a little line up by the star, okay? And then you start at uh, you. Okay, you got the, the uh, belt, and you go down, around, up, and then you come back down again. Qua. It's a little tricky, a little tricky. Let's try it again, okay? Start on the belt. I mean, yep, I'm on the on two o'clock. Start at two o'clock. Come up and around and over. It's kind of the opposite of, you know, you've got the, the little space in there by the down on the on the uh, foot line, and you go up to the belt. You come around and you keep going. Go up to the belt. Once you're at the belt, you come back down and then you go up like that. And then for the U, you start on the belt, you slide down, touch the bottom line, go up to the belt, and then you come back down. And same thing, there's a little space down at the bottom there. The, the arrow's kind of in the way. Anyway, you get the idea. Qua, qua, okay? Let's go with this one. It's the letter R, but the sound is r r r r r r r Road, road runner, road runner. The coyote's gonna get you. Road run. Okay, r r r is the sound you're going for. Okay, there it is. Short letter. Where do you think it starts? Where do you think it starts? It starts on the belt. You crash down. Bomp. Hit the bottom. Get in your car. Drive back up, but be sure to get off the exit. Go up and over, touch the belt, and you end up where? You end up at, what, what two o'clock on the clock. You touch it and you come back over to two o'clock. Make sense? Let's try it again. Where does it start? Starts on the belt. You go down. You come back up. You come back up, but get off the exit. And you go over and you touch the belt. And then you come back down and you stop. You stop at two o'clock. Okay, what are we going to do now? S. Oh, the letter S. S. Oh, there's a the little girl. Oh, her name must be S. 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 and Z are the two sounds for the letter S. S. and Z. Now notice... The S is kind of like the top of a circle, and it starts at 2 o'clock, and you go up, touch the belt. This is tricky now. You come over, and you start going down again, and then you go all, you get like on a slide, and you slide on over about halfway down, and then you go back again. You go over. Don't fall off the, the, the sled, though. You go under, and you touch 
the, the, the bottom line, and, and don't stop there. You bring it up to where? You bring it up to 8 o'clock. Z, z, the letter S. Let's try it again, okay? Here's, where does it start? It starts at 2 o'clock. You go up. You touch the belt. You come down and you curve around and you get on your sled and you go sliding down the hill. You go over. Don't fall off your sled. You come back down. You touch the bottom line. Do you stop at the bottom? No, don't stop at the bottom line. You go up to about 8 o'clock. Okay, next one. The letter T. 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 E. T. 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 Er. Teeter. T. Ot. Teeter. Totter. How many of you like to go up and down, back and forth on teeter totters? Yeah, those are fun. T. Okay. It's not a tall letter. Some people write it as a tall letter. But. The, the, the correct way is you come down a little ways, about halfway from the top to the, to the middle line or the belt line. And you go whoosh, boom, down to the bottom. You pick your pencil up and you go over and you put it on the belt line and you go a, a tiny cross the way that we read and write, the direction we read and write. Let's try it again. Are we starting at the top? No, 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 no. Come down about halfway, right about there, between the top and the middle line, okay? And you go all the way down, pick your pencil up, put it on the belt, just a tiny cross, a little like that is the sound, okay? Now we've already done this one, the U. Remember it was part of qua? And in this, in this case, when it's by itself, it says a, uh, as in du, uh, ducks, ducks, you, as in the word use, oh, and there's that z sound in the letter S there. Ducks use quack, 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 out, uh, put, uh, put, output, quack, quack, quack. I guess you could say geese do the same thing. Honk, honk, output, quack, 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 quack. output. Ducks use output. All right, there's the letter U, and it's a uh, U uh. You try it, a uh, U uh. Okay, where does it start? It starts on the belt. You slant on down. You touch the bottom line. You come all the way up to the belt line, and then whoosh, whoosh, you go back down. A uh, U uh uh. Let's try it again. Okay, start on the belt. Go down, slant down, touch, touch, round down, touch, touch the bottom line, and go up to the belt, and then, bam, uh, you, uh, those are the three possible sounds. All right, here we go, easy one, everybody knows this one. V valentine, be my valentine, please. It's a short letter. It's a short letter. It starts on the belt right here. And you slant in the direction. You're going down, but you're going the way that we read. And then you slant up. Okay, let's try it again. Start on the belt. Slant down. And slant up. Short letter. Okay, here is the letter W. W right there, okay. Ooh, the sound is W. Wa, 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 wiggle, wa, wiggle worm, wiggle worm. Have you ever seen a wiggle worm or a worm wiggle? Okay, wa, wa, short letter. It starts on the belt. You slant down. You slant all the way up to the belt. You slant down again, and you sl slant forward up to the belt. Let's try it again, okay? So where does it start on the belt? Slant down, slant up. Slant down, slant up. What sound does it say? W, w. Okay. The letter X. The letter X. The sound it says is X. X. So there's a there, there's an animal, and what's that thing that's been? He's getting an X ray. How many have heard of an X ray? And when you say X-ray, you use the letter name X-ray. But what kind of an animal is that? X. 
a fox. Fox. X. That is the sound. You put the k and this together. X. X. For the letter X. X. Okay, and it starts on the belt. Slant all the way down. Pick your pencil up and go right up above it. Okay, right about there. And then slant backwards. X. All right, here we go again. Start on the belt. Slant down. Go up above where you you stopped and then slant backwards it only says x when it's used in the word x-ray i broke my arm and i had to get an x-ray all right the letter y y this is another one that has that little sometimes it has a little loop-de-loo kind of you know like it's similar to gotcha in some ways it goes under the under the bottom line this is, the sounds are tr tricky on this one. Y See, there's that little, t you know, like I did with the letter A. Y is the first one. Y y you were, and the second sound is I, as in gypsy. This, she looks like a gypsy, doesn't she? <laughs> Let me tell you out of fortune. Gypsy. <laughs> you were gypsy. You were gypsy. Can, the third sound is I. Can. Fl fly. You were gypsy can fly. And how does she fly? E quickly. Oh, we got qua in there. Look at that. You were gypsy can fly quickly. Whoa, there's the letter Y. That's the way we're going to write it. Sometimes underneath below the bottom line people do it differently okay let's take a look at it starts on the belt go down to the bottom line pick your pencil up go a little ways out on the on the belt line and then come back and go right down by there it is okay yeah i i e yeah i i e let's try it again here we go starts on the belt slant down Pick your pencil up, come out a ways, and then whoosh, go right on down and touch the, the bottom line, but then go underneath. And like I say, sometimes they do, the like up above, they do a little loop-de-loo on there. It, it varies. It depends on how. In books, you'll see it like that most of the time. We're at the end, the last letter. What is it? The letter Z. And lots of kids get this one pr pretty quick. Z, 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 what animal is that? It's a z, z, zebra, zebra at the z, ooh, zebra at the zoo. Z, 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 for the letter Z. Starts on the belt, let's see, yep, on the belt. Go the direction we read and write, and then go slant backwards, kind of like just under where you started. And then on the bottom line, you go the direction we read and write again, and try to keep try to keep them, you know, lined up with each other. Zzz. Okay, we'll try it again on the belt. Direction we read and write. Stop. Slant back to just below where you started. You're on the bottom line. Go the direction we read and write. Good show. You, we did the whole alphabet. That's pretty tricky. All right. There's me, okay, Mr. Babcock. Some people call me Poppy. Okay, I'll see you next time. And we're going to start going into the more difficult phonograms. And uh, some of you probably already know some of these, but they're real helpful once you figure them out. They're different. There's usually two, maybe three letters. I think some even have four, if you can believe that. Uh, I think that, yeah, yeah, four, I think it's the big one. But these are, these are, oh, we got Y and Z already today. And there's my friend the clown, okay? And finally, oh, there's some other interesting sounds. And lastly, some right in there. There's more, there's more, but if we, we're going to work on those uh, the next, the next time around, okay? And, and, and kids, people, you are going to start putting the, they call it cracking the code. Once you look at those sounds and you know what they say, you can start to read, okay? Good for you. Nice job. Keep up. The, watch this over and over again as many times as you want. And get, get some of that paper that has a top line, a middle line, and a bottom line, okay? 
See you next time. Bye-bye.